Zohar, where all the other senior officers ran away from the scene. Only the inspector was left and the inspector took very strong action. Open fire, killed about five, six uh, persons. And I was asked to take action against the inspector for having rashly killed five or six persons when a mob was threatening to kill them. So I said, look, I'm sorry. It's the job of a, a first a court of inquiry must be held. A proper investigation must be done, whether he was justified in killing people or not. And only then action can be taken. He said, no, 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 I am telling you he is bad. You must remove him. I said, no, sorry, can't be done. Then anyway, it went on for about a month. Then he was saying that, look, we will transfer him. At least you transfer him, I'll be happy. I said, no, I will not transfer him because I'll be giving in to you. No. Then, at the end, I told him, look, if you insist on that sort of a thing, to save your relations, my relations, all the policemen will gang up against me I am sorry, I am not going to agree. To me, policemen are more dear than those who object to law and work against the law. No. So I resigned. I put in a full-fledged resignation. I said, look, I resigned from the police. I don't want to work under these circumstances. Then, the government of India didn't agree. They said, look, this is an officer with an ex excellent record. We are not prepared to accept the recommendation of the chief ministry. If he doesn't want him in the state, we are happy to have him in Delhi. So I went away to Delhi. And unfortunately for me, within a few months, the Prime Minister was killed and I was drafted for that investigation. Instead of getting a little rest, I got further duties. And that took me six, seven long years. But I had laid down certain very, very good systems for such an important investigation. I don't know whether anybody has observed here but I wish to make that point clear. First thing that I said after taking over investigation is nobody should ask me what we are doing. Or nobody should ask any officer what he is doing. It is our business to investigate and this is an investigation which should not be matter which is market talk. As it is happening today, in every case you can see a sub-inspector going and saying, I did leave this, I did like that, I did like that. This is very, very wrong. It is never done. Any, any investigation is absolutely confidential till it is put to the court. And this has to be taught to the people. It has to be taught to all the policemen first. It is very, very wrong to go on talking about it Particularly, it can happen that what you are saying is not quite right. And you might have to change your version. You can't change it like that. Therefore, it is necessary for the police investigation to be kept confidential. Till the task is confidential only to the extent of the department. It's not that sub-inspector is not responsible to the inspector, not responsible to the DSP, not that. It has to be supervised by the concerned persons, whoever they are, but it has to be kept, whatever investigation you do, it should be confidential. Thereafter, at the end, we did not allow the, the all the uh, accused that we had charged it except one. They were all convicted to death. 
I personally went with the judgment and got the uh, papers ready for the hanging of those people so that no time is lost for them to work on getting away from that. Because not because we are afraid of the thing, but because we did, really did not want any anybody trying to work against the assassination of a prime minister. And I really felt very happy when within one week all the accused were all sentenced to death and the sentence was completed. The, they were all hanged. And that model of investigation is not on today. You can see in very, very, very many cases. Everywhere the public are discussing, papers are writing, each man has got his own view, depending upon his party view. That sort of a thing is not acceptable. We do our work unrelated to party, unrelated to purely according to law. And this is one thing which I learned from Word Gopal. That is the importance of the thing. It is he who is responsible for making me what I am today. Whatever Padma Bhushan I got, part of the credit must go to Mr. Vadagopal Rao. And I'm really indebted to him. After I retired and came back, we have our next phase of life. He wanted me to write about the investigation, what I did, etc. Because I did that and got kudos from him saying that you have done a good job, you are a good shishya. I said, yes, I am a good shishya. Now you must get more shishya for yourself now. That was his advice. And I do, do hope that I will live long enough to say, Pura, we have all succeeded. Thank you. He is an officer of AP Carter. Ipurente VAP security oka looming large kani arojulone the nyoka importance in Grahenchi is the only PhD even now with a dissertation on VAP security. Pantunula Yafe in Udula, Ipis to Jaina Yeru, Pantunula Tombayer and Low, Retire Yeru, Andhra Pradesh Low, various capacity of Panjis in Taravata. International security guards. I am drawing the attention of the trained cadets. Was assassinated. The security of the entire state apparatus was just a deputy SP. I think my colleague Venkateshwar was the DSP. That organization has now today a model. Take a Akkad VIP security. Mata Chandras Vadal Ninchi. Ah, Devalaniki Mupundi. And the kind of Tirumuti put the Ostana Varkuda, Varu, Yelanti remuneration as in Chunda Security Advisor Service Chesaru, Nain Akada Chief Residence and Security Officer Gona Purkuda. That is his greatness. Service law, one of the Kalon Chasing Doka service, a retire and a kind of Sindhi. He has written twelve books. His books and VIP security and Indel security are still quoted. In Taina, in the Vice Laguda, I crew to do active counter. A Pudu Deshanta two years to Yakrocho lecture list in Yontaru. He is a consultant and security and business matters, HRD. He runs an organization for advancement of police sciences. The vigilance manual compiled Jesaru. Dadapu Pandin to Pustakal Reser on a variety of subjects like uh, protection of dignitaries, introduction to anti-corruption work, human rights and police, introduction to industrial security management, handbook of IHL and HR, police, Hindi logo, police our manavadikar and AC. We turn it to part two, retire in a Hyderabad National Police Academy Pakana Raghavan Khan Satellite Kuda, social organization pity, 
మన పోలీసు పిల్లలు ఎవరైనా చదువు సంధ్యలు చదువుకోకుండా ఉంటే వాళ్ళకి ఒకేషనల్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఇప్పించాలని వాళ్ళకి కార్ రిపేర్స్ సెల్ ఫోన్ రిపేర్ లాంటి ఒకేషనల్ కోర్సెస్ని కూడా స్పాన్సర్ చేస్తుండేవారు నాకు కూడా అనేక సార్లు ఫోన్ చేసి అటువంటి పిల్లలు ఎవరైనా ఉంటే పంపించబ్బా మనం వీ విల్ హెల్ప్ దెమ్ అనే ఎవరు దట్ ఈస్ హిస్ కమిట్మెంట్ టోటల్ అండ్ అన్డివైడెడ్ టు ది కాస్ ఆఫ్ పోలీస్ ప్రొఫెషన్ అండ్ పోలీస్ పర్సనల్ హీ వర్క్డ్ విత్ లేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఎస్ వేణుగోపాలరావు I request him to, to briefly share his reminiscences with us. From there, sir. Thank you. President of the evening function, my dearest friend, Dr. Jai Prakash, family members of Dr. Vanuka Paul Rao, ladies and gentlemen, about Professor Vernikopal Rao's qualities of head and heart, much has been said. I am going to talk about him as a human being. I first met him late 1962 when I was ASP Surya Pet. He was Superintendent Crime Branch. For the entire state, one ASP to look after the crimes in those days. In the first meeting itself, he started quizzing me, what are all the books you have read on professional matters, this, that, and all that. Luckily, to save my skin, when I had been to Madras city, I bought one book on fingerprints, the latest one. <laughs> and I showed him, sir, I'm keeping touch with this. Then he started examining me on fingerprints and I was out of my depth. And he is a par excellence teacher. My association with him became very close when I was in Delhi. Many of you may or may not know, before joining police service, he was in the defense forces in the Navy. At Delhi, he first joined Intelligence Bureau and ran the Indian Police Journal, which is even today one of the best journals on policing. Later he moved on to CBI. In CBI he looked after the Interpol Division and the Crime Control and all that. And he did an excellent job. And I still remember in the DIG CID's conferences from 1966 onwards, for half a day, he used to talk about the importance of computerization of crime records and all that thing. And to tell you honestly, most of the police officers were not interested. They used to go to sleep. He thought of these things far ahead. And later he went to BPRND and did a wonderful job there. And he did so many things in Delhi. Now, as a human being, you cannot see Vernigo Palra without his pipe. And he was always jovial. He will, even if he want to pull you up, he will say it as a joke. And he was a great bridge player. And his family members, all of them are good bridge players. Today I recall Mrs. Vanagopal Rao, who was a very highly talented bridge player and a son, doctor, and all of them. And we used to play in Delhi late in the night. And he was also very much interested in art and culture. Virtually he was the single dynamo for the Andhra Association in Delhi. He used to have almost every month one drama or a recitation of poetry or this or that in the IIPA hall. And he was very popular with everyone. But he was a man of high principles. He never respected personalities. I have never, though, by virtue of my duty, I was always hanging around VIPs. I had never seen Vernigo Paul Rao coming to any VIP for any favor or any such thing. 
for the information of the training officers here. When this AP Police Academy was being built up, it started in the barracks in the CPL Amber Pet. From that time onwards, he took a lot of interest. He was virtually coming here every day and teaching the deputy superintendents of police, professional deputy superintendents of police, and he helped a great deal for a part to grow. And he was the first and the last Professor Emeritus of APA. Now, I want to tell the young officers here, Andhra Pradesh had excellent name in crime investigation. Now before you is Sri Anandra, who is known for his ability as a crime investigator. Gaurugopal Rao Garu, and we had, many of you may not even know him, an IGP called AKK Nambiar. We never used to stand before him because we were so frightened about him. That gentleman, he wrote a book, I don't know whether it is still available, on scientific aids to crime investigation and supplied it to all the police stations. And he also supplied to all police stations a crime investigation kit by which we can develop fingerprints, footprints, and all that thing. He was always on crime. And we would never, as SPs, we would never think of standing before him and discussing a case because IG knew. Imagine he was the only IG for the entire state, complete state. And he knew more facts about the case than we in the field. Now, Andhra Pradesh used to get every year the trophy for the best crime investigation in the All India Police Duty Meet. That type of a state today, young officers are not paying attention to crime investigation. I would appeal to all of you who are undergoing training in APA. They will give, they will place before you a lot of knowledge and skills, but it is up to you to take up seriously crime investigation. I am very happy to be here to listen to Dr. Jay Prakash Narayan. I won't call him a politician, a thinking leader. He is going to speak to you on a very important subject. I have my own views on that. We are thinking of only the bolt and nuts of policing. Modernization of police doesn't mean giving them more equipment. We must work for modernization of the police mind. The policeman has to remember he is the social worker in uniform. He is not there to protect the establishment. Now, if you see the old definition of police, way back in France, it never talks of law and order or in the prevention detection of crime. It talks of providing services to the society. And unfortunately, over the years, they have over-centralized the police, which should be thoroughly decentralized and demilitarized. And thank you very much for your patience. God bless you. Dr. Jai Prakash Narendra Garu, Sri Sudip, Rakatiya, Additional DGP, Director, APPA, Dr. Anandram Garu, and Subramanian Garu. It gives me a great pleasure to speak on the occasion of my father, Professor S. Venkopal Rao's 19th Memorial Lecture and thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak here. I will speak in English, although I am not a good speaker like my father, and my vocabulary is limited. I like Telugu very much, although for 42 years I have been in Bombay. I love my uh, mother tongue, 
and I have been in touch with Telugu. So in between, I will also speak in Telugu and I will give some episodes in Telugu. I would like to introduce myself as Rajari Kansuras, eldest son of S. Vengopal Rao and Rama Devi. I graduated in electrical engineering from Usmana University in 1971 and joined Siemens Limited in Mumbai. For the last 42 years, I have been living in Mumbai, engaged in the electrical industry. I will now tell some episodes. In between, I will talk in Telugu, and I hope it will be interesting. It was in 1952, Radapuram, East Kulagri district. My father was posted at ASP, and I was uh, seven years old. I used to be a little mischievous. And while coming from school to the house, I was coming with one, my, one of my friends, Salomon. And there was police headquarters in between. When, and there is a guard with a gun standing there. And when we came near that, I told Salma to carry my books to others and not trouble others. She told so nicely. From that it went into my head. Afterwards, I, only, I, mean, I remember those words, and I had a lot of respect for police from that time. So that was one incident which happened several times.